Well, it's all very exciting because the gates have opened and the people are here. Yay! In a moment, I'll be talking to frontmen Francis Rossi and Rick Parfit. But first, I've been meeting one of the band's biggest fans. He's been to 420 of their concerts. But more impressive than that, he's written a song and it's on Status Quo's latest album. Here's his story. Alan Crook certainly got the rock star look. And now this trucker from Brandon in Norfolk is hoping to have the rock star lifestyle after penning a song for the new Status Quo album. Alan has seen Status Quo 420 times and had sent them lyrics many times before without any luck. He was down, down but not anymore. It's a great honour. Um, as far as I know, it's the first time in Quo's history that a fan has written a song that's made an album. Uh, and for that to be little old me, I'm so pleased I really am. So really, it's a story of rock and roll and you. See what I did there? Very good, I like that. <laughs> ever get to perform your song with the great band? I wish. I can only wish. But I very much doubt it, but the fact that they've put it on the album is, is just wonderful. It's, it, it, that's enough. That's enough for me. And would it make you a fortune from the royalties? Uh, there will be royalties. Um, I've no idea uh, how much it'll be. Obviously it depends on sales and, and if it gets any airplay. As for this fan, he's still having to pinch himself. For years he's followed his heroes, and now he's part of the gang. So, as promised, here are Francis Rossi and Rick Parfit. Welcome back to Suffolk, you two. Hello there. Hello, darling. I do miss that ponytail. Do you? I do. Well, you can grow one. Oh, you've got I've one. I've got one. You can have one. I've I, got one. I don't miss it. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, what's it like being back here? Um, it's very nice. We, it's nice forest. It's nice. It's a bit cold, but it's going to be fine. It's a gig. We do gigs. That's what we do. Now, you also work jolly hard, don't you? 39 albums, and the Performing Rights Society describe you as one of the hardest working acts on tour. What makes you keep on rocking? That's us, Rick. We just never stop. I mean, it's what we do, isn't it? And uh, we enjoy it. So, uh, as long as the weather holds up, it's going to be a, a good night tonight. Why do you think you're so popular, you two? You too, it's got nothing to do with us, why they're popular. It's why our looks, popular? I think, isn't it? It's, I was going to say. It's our looks, I think, makes us so popular. It's not that to do with the music. I think it's purely our looks. Now, I've been a bit disturbed tonight because not only have I met you, but I have met one of your fans who've got your faces tattooed on his legs. Really? I think what do you make that. of that? We met a guy like that. Wasn't that Australia? Uh, he's not in Australia, is he? I oh, know he wouldn't. No, be, he's it? from round here. People do things like that for us to make a judgment on that. They, that's a great honour in some respects. And then another time you think, why? As long as he doesn't wear shorts, really. Oh, yeah. Let's see. You yeah, can't walk around with me and him on his thighs, <laughs> can you? Really? <laughs> I mean, what happens when we look up? It's not <laughs> nice, is it? It's uncomfortable. Now, just briefly, what of the crowd? What can they expect tonight? Well, it will be. Um, you don't know, really. I mean, when you're doing it live, you never quite know what's going to happen, and anything can happen up there. But it should be a good rocking show, as per usual. We know, you know, we're quite reliable. And don't I, age. indeed, and don't I know it, gentlemen? What a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Keep on rocking, won't you? Keep on rocking. Yeah. Keep Thank on you. rocking. That's it from us. She's a girl, you know. Thanks, Natalie. Thanks, Rocket.